everybody so today's video is a haul video I know hauls are like very it's a it's a huge guru thing here on YouTube and I know people who rarely post videos have also posted them because they like to share in that and kind of have some fun with it but um, whenever I do hauls personally I have never gone out on a singular day on a singular shopping trip and just purchased four hundred dollars worth of stuff from a single solitary mall never all of my items here that I have collected I have been collecting probably since late December now I am definitely gonna try my best this year to make sure that I film haul videos rather than just showing my new items on Instagram I know not everybody follows uh, me on Twitter or Instagram that follows me here so it'd be much more fun to watch a haul here obviously I tend to get impatient when I show you guys what I got <laughs> when I got it and um, right then and there which is generally if you know me like at the most four items birthday and of course February I left town for Vegas and I also purchased some things ahead of time that I wanted to wear to Vegas my trip ended up getting cut short and I didn't get to wear them hence the unused items that you may see in this haul now I've been trying to keep my fingers off of all the goodies in here. I only tried a couple things just so I can get a better idea of what some of the products were. So let us just dive in. I've subcategorized everything and I can't wait. I have a few trips from Sephora. There's not really an Ulta anywhere um, near me, but I definitely have like three to four Sephoras at least around um, me. So. Getting into exactly what we have in these little cases, I'll even be showing samples. I won't be showing 500 perk reward, reward things or uh, 100 perk reward things because I didn't pick any up because they weren't cruelty free uh, or they didn't smell good or they weren't my cup of tea. Very excited about what's in this bag. So we're gonna start the haul off with a kick. We're going to start with some of the best first. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. And I was really excited about this product because when I went to go check it out in the store, I actually did not care for the colors of the ambient lighting powders that they were showing. Because my Sephora right now isn't showing the whole line of Hourglass. It is showing a premiere um, or a presentation, as they're calling it, of Hourglass. So what we're getting is like the top sellers, but we're not getting the full line as a whole. The colors that they were showing, dim light and uh, some other things weren't going to work on my particular skin tone. Dim light would be setting powder on me and I don't need a mineralized setting powder. But the blushes most definitely interested me and plus they're a little cheaper than the actual ambient lighting powders. I know I should have probably just purchased that Christmas one that was going around, <laughs> but uh, I tend to be a little bit of a, of a rebel. so I. I didn't go that way. Anyways, this is Mood Exposure, and here is Mood Exposure in all its glory. That'd be sad if I dropped it, right? This I got with a Christmas Sephora gift card. Lately I've been doing like a one eyeshadow look with a bright but light color and then a bold lip. Anytime I put color right here on the cheeks, I feel like I'm crazy so since I'm on this color kick but I want it to all work out I wanted to make sure I had something that was going to work with that that I would love after the effect I also think that this is going to make a great easygoing spring to summertime blush that's not going to require a lot of work to apply it and it just sort of reminds me of the MAC mineralized skin finishes and people pay a lot of money for those these are about that same price point anyways I'm going to swatch mood exposure this was the last mood exposure in my store at the time. So here's what I mean by like a very natural tea rose. It's more or less on the warm side, not so much the pink side. Sometimes some tea rose colors can get very, very pink. And so I went and picked up Luminous Flush. And honestly, I wanted Luminous Heat and they were already sold out of it by the time I decided to dry some Hourglass. It's Luminous Flush. And it's sort of a very light peachy coral color. I really genuinely hope that you can see that on my hand. Once again, these are very easygoing colors. Moving forward, more stuff in here. I picked up Hourglass Grace, and this is the Femme Rouge Lipsticks. This was the color I was most interested in. 
Um, I did do a Instagram shot of all the lipstick swatches. Here's a picture of all the swatches. Ballet is pink, Grey's is nude, Nocturnal is cranberry violet, and then Icon is their red. So here is Grace, the nude, and it is just gorgeous. Look at the hourglass. Um, I don't want to roll it up too high and break it, of course, but there is the hourglass, and here is the shape of the lipstick. A couple Bite Beauty products. Now the first one I have here is the Bite Beauty Natural Food Grade Contour Lip Liner. Uh, these are a little, I guess, pricey for lip liners. I haven't spent this much in, on a lip liner in a while. When I first looked at it, I was like, how do I get this open? It's a matte, sort of like a NARS packaging. And then I looked at it, and it's this really cool little cashew. I have never heard any buzz about the Bite Beauty Contour Lip Liners, and I thought this would look great under Grace and some of my other nude lippies as well. Oh, and here, to prevent tip from breaking, oh, they have all these instructions on how to use it. That is elegant. It's Bite Beauty. This is the natural food grade high pigment lip pencil. I like purchasing natural shades from high-end lines because it, I want to use something I spend a lot of money on. And this, if you like Madeira um, from the line, you might like this. This is actually has more warmth and more of a nude tone. Syrah. The samples I got from those purchases, in case you're interested, just to give you a little bit of beauty um, knowledge and love, the Nude Radiant Day Moisturizer, and you Nude um, First Aid Beauty or Fab uh, Face Cleanser of the the, um, the Elizabeth and James, yeah, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her. This is the fragrance designed by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. This is the white one. I actually have smelled these in person. And the white one, to me, is the better of the two fragrances. For me, personally, the black one is absolutely foul. Um, I'm not showing you these, suggesting that they're cruelty-free in any way, shape, or form. These were just samples that were at the bottom of my bag that I wasn't aware that they were there. I, did, I do walk around sometimes and smell the fragrances for fun. But um, this is, it says exclusively at Sephora at the bottom. This is a really cool bottle. It literally does look like a very narrow flask, but anything owned by Sephora does test on animals. And those brands include, obviously, Sephora brand, um, Taka, the perfume line, Elizabeth and James, uh, Kat Von D. I'm pretty certain that that includes the Hello Kitty line as well. Speaking of Sephora, we have another Sephora item. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow pomade and I did pick up the shade blonde. Uh, I've worn this in a couple videos already and I'm not sure if anybody's been able to catch on so I thought I better film this haul quick. used it a couple times mainly because I wanted to be able to tell you anything about this dip brow pomade because I saw a couple the gurus use it and I was like whoa that stuff comes out like gel is this gel is this pomade what is this and it is basically like a colored moussey not moussey but like it has the texture of a paint pot but it's even creamier so that's why I mean by like moussey it is not as stiff as a MAC paint pot or a cream color base it is so rich so the next big brand name that we have here is some Inglot. I don't have an Inglot bag. It must have been um, one of those ugly Macy's bags because I got this inside Macy's. Yeah, it was one of the ugly Macy's bags. I have the Inglot AMC Under Eye Corrective Illuminator. It's basically a really pale yellow toned, very fair color because you do want it to be slightly more illuminizing. I think it's overall a pretty good deal. I haven't used an illuminator in a very long time. I love the very sleek, simple packaging and the fact that it's not the YSL Touche Cloud Price, you know, that is crazy. Um, anyways, if you're going to highlight under the eyes, I suggest getting something lightweight, sheer. So I picked up the Inglot Cream Concealer, and this is the shade 21. Their numbering system varies between products and products. If you know the numbering system, you can pretty much identify which product category the item is in. It kind of makes it a little bit more simple for you. So I know the AMC line, and as far as 
color cosmetics go, if I remember correctly, is usually two numbers. So 51, 21, whatever. Anyways, these colors are a bit different. Obviously, this is more of my flesh tone. I also got two Inglot lipsticks. I'm so excited about these. I picked up the shade number 282. Yeah, I'll just show this to you first. That is amazing. When I said I wanted true purple, they gave me true purple. They motioned me to, you know, over to this really cool, amazing cream lipstick palette. And if you're not, you know, if you're doing it on clients, I was like, okay, then I would have taken that color. But this is for personal use, and I don't like potted lipsticks for personal use. For the other Inglot color I picked up, I don't know what's with me and vivid colored lipstick, but I've been eating, ho I've been eating, ugh. I have been watching Holly eats lipstick lately, and I think that has something to do with it. She tends to like vivid pinks, but she's more of like into cool tone pinks but I think she's also like a shade zero unless that's a joke in foundation which I am not so I picked up something slightly warmer and um, I got one four three and this is very similar to one three nine it's a warm tone pink this is just a slight variation they're both the same finish they're both cream the next part of this haul is drugstore and I did pick up two of the Wet n Wild palettes. We have the Naked Truth and we have Floral Values. What I like about these palettes is they both have base tones in them. So for me this seems just a lot more interesting um, and different and unique than things that they've put out in a while. I always like to try one of their neutral palettes and one of their purples because those are colors I do wear a lot of. The base tone in both the palettes is slightly different. This one is cooler and this one is warmer. So we'll play with those and see how those work. Purples from Wet n Wild have been duds in the past. Moving on to internet brands, I got this for Christmas and haven't really shown it or played with it yet mainly because I've been so busy and these colors are so vivid. Mochi, a very vivid aqua, gorgeous matte aqua, and then a 2AM, a very lovely sort of multi-dimensional red violet, acid berry, a limey sour worms type of color with shimmer, and this last one is Velocity and it looks like a matte pressed version of Sugar Pills Royal Sugar. So that is internet brands. Two more shops. This is Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and it is the color District, which is basically a red tomato color. And I've been using it as blush. Um, I did play with it a bit so I can get a feel for it, but I kept it in, you know, intact. Last portion of the makeup haulage and I will get into the bottom half. But this is Makeup Geek and I picked up Sweet Dreams Loose Pigment. I'm really excited about this one because I honestly thought this was going to be a very sheer highlighty color and that's honestly why I bought it. I'm just going to have to keep on looking. That's okay. It's part of like the fun of makeup shopping. But this actually ended up being a dupe for um, makeup, or sorry, Max Naked Lunch, which I love Naked Lunch. And this has like the same shimmer, same everything. This looks like naked pigment that you can get at the pro store. So the next item I have is the Makeup Geek Gel Liner, and I picked up Fame. Don't you love Fame? I love Fame. That is Fame. Tealy color. Whoa. That sucks. No, it didn't get dented. I'm happy. And I love Poison and Mobster so much that I'm kind of like thinking, do I want a collector gel liners? I don't want any colored eyeliner in my collection that doesn't dry out, that isn't so severely waterproof. So yeah, that's the makeup portion of this haul and let's get into clothes. So next is the jewelry and the fashion haul. As we say on YouTube, jewelry, as in jewels and then re but it's actually jewelry. If you follow me on Instagram, you caught me house-sitting. As a thank you for house-sitting, I got a gift from Walt Disney World. My sister got to visit, and she brought me back something from the Moroccan, or sorry, Moroccan Villa at Epcot. Because I said, I want something from Epcot. Last time, she got me something from Japan at um, Epcot, and I said, this time I do want jewelry and this time I want something from a different pavilion. I actually requested something from the Netherlands because I was very excited about the movie Frozen and then I was actually even more pleasantly surprised that she brought me back these because 
Moroccan cultures, Greek cultures, Indian cultures, all that stuff gets really infused into yoga, which I'm heavily into, of course. Getting these is a wonderful surprise, and that's why I like gifts. I just told her, just get me something you know I'd like. It's all good. So she texts me, can you wear sterling silver? And I said, yes. I'm actually uh, allergic to most metals. Um, I could, I can wear fashion earrings because it's just one little hook going into my ear. All these little things are like gold plated or white gold or whatever. That's pretty much why you never see me wear anything around my neck for the most part. But yeah, I absolutely adore. So the next piece of jewelry is Betsy Johnson. There's only a couple brands that produce decent metal that doesn't have a lot of like nickel. It's the nickel I think that I'm allergic to. Um, or sensitive to. No, I'm actually very allergic. I get rashes, not just sensitivities, <laughs> full-on rashes. Um, but yeah, the, these are Betsy Johnson, again. As we know, her main line is no longer in business. It's Steve Madden by Betsy Johnson. If you've been keeping up with fashion, beauty, reality shows, <laughs> you knows. But the, look at those. Don't you love my bears? I love my bears. I love my bears anyways. This is like, I don't, I actually used to buy, purchase like pounds of the, the gummy bears that ha were made with real fruit juice. I, as in true Betsy style fashion, little bows right here on top. I think this is my second pair of earrings that have the Betsy trademark bows, if not the third. I think my other one have Betsy heart. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I went to Vegas this month. You got to see my pictures. I saw the wind carousel. I saw Chinese New Year coming. Uh, it was very exciting for me because I don't think I've ever walked that much of the strip in detail. And I just like... I, I, I pretty much did everything I wanted. My goal was to get to Vegas before I turned 30. Now I've actually been to Vegas before, but I was really young and I don't remember the strip at all. So it was so exciting to finally get to go on the strip. When I was older, could appreciate a little bit more, could appreciate a vacation. It ended up being a bit of a turnaround trip, but I'm glad I got to go when I did. I got to have some amazing garden sushi roll at this amazing sushi restaurant at the shop forums, which they actually retweeted as soon as I put it up. It was kind of fun. Um, I saw a lot of people getting pulled over. I saw arrests. I saw DUIs. I was like, how do you get in trouble in Vegas? Almost everything is legal in Vegas, and there's like a freaking taxi on every corner. Not only that, but there's a monorail in Vegas. How do you drive? How do you get a DUI? How do you get in a car crash? How do you get in trouble? I'm just completely curious. Anyways, I had the fun and wore jewels. I wore Makeup Geek Vegas lights. Uh, I wore poison gel liner underneath of it. And I just had fun and I just let loose and, um, you know, took care of my service industry people as I do. And I wore this really fun bedazzled jewel top. And I wore a. I believe I wore an orange cami from Express underneath. Yeah, that's what I wore. Did you see the back of this? It's really cool. Really cool. Um, so I purchased these because if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm a yoga person. If you follow me at pretty much anywhere, you know I do yoga. But I do, I like to purchase juices before or after yoga, wheatgrass shots. I do juices, not juicing. <laughs> Big difference. I don't do wheat, protein shakes, anything like that. But, um... This is really cool. This is just different. I don't see any yogis doing this. Right. So, I went to downtown Disney a couple times this month with my sister to celebrate birthdays, to celebrate uh, anything. So, we went to Trader Sam's. We went to, um, we went to Tortilla Joe's. We went to the Grand California Hotel. These are all on, you know, this is not all the same night. <laughs> just a heads up. Um, Anyways, I had um, I had the Krakatoa Punch, um, I had their Mai Tai at Trader Sam's, and then at Trader Joe's a couple weeks later I had the Strawberry Mint Margarita and the Berry or the Raspberry Mojito. And if you ask my sister about Trader Sam, she will tell you to get the Coconut Mojito. But um, anyways, I got this keepsake bag because I actually decided to do some clothing shopping at Disney Couture stores. I love this little bag. It's Plus it's reusable. It's like my little souvenir of the night for the most part. Two of my favorite stores there are The Vault and Apricot Lane because they have a lot of really cool sort of Disney couture or California clothes that aren't like I'm going on a cruise ship to California 
or Disney personified, aka belly pack sweaters, that kind of thing. World of Disney has a mix and a match of Disney couture slash Disney tourist. So it's really kind of a little different there between the stores, but they still have cute stuff at every place. But I went to the vault and I picked up some really cool stuff. I love the vault at Disney. It's not dirt cheap. Is it worth it? Yes, because the clothing actually lasts a very long time. Um, anyways, I got knit tops again, flowy knit tops. So they'll last me a little while longer. And this is from the brand, wait, this is Disney Parks brand, yeah. Anyways, um, I got the Princess Aurora top. I love this. And it just like lays on the body like a flowy off the shoulder top wood. Absolutely stunning. This mini the mini mouse. I don't buy a lot of mini mouse stuff really. She's like she's not my favorite character, but she's a classic. I had to pay an homage to her, and I like the sequin signature on the bows. I got another princess. I got the original princess. Walt Disney's claim to fame, Miss Snow White. Miss Snow White sweater. Hilo. So that is my haul. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.